In the cold, dark depths of the Atlantic, an iron giant sleeps, a tomb for 306 souls. Its name is Legend, the USS Cyclops, a ship that sailed into a mystery and never returned. For over a century, its disappearance has been blamed on curses, sea monsters, and alien forces. But the truth is far more terrifying, and it has been hiding in plain sight all along. This is the story of a ship at war, a controversial captain, and a fatal cargo. This is the truth of the Bermuda Triangle's most famous victim, finally exposed. Our story begins in the midst of the First World War. The year is 1918. The USS Cyclops was not a warship, but a lifeline, a massive collier designed to fuel the fleet. She was one of the largest ships of her time, a true behemoth of steel, over 500 feet long. On board, a diverse crew of over 300 men from all corners of the world. But at its heart was a commander shrouded in controversy. Captain George W. Worley, an eccentric and often tyrannical leader, hated by many of his own officers. He was known to walk the decks in his long underwear, ruling his ship with an iron fist. His leadership style had already created a tense, fractured atmosphere on board. This was a ship already on edge, even before it began its final, fateful journey. In early 1918, the Cyclops was tasked with a critical mission, to sail to Brazil and retrieve a vital ingredient for the war's munitions, a heavy, dense, and unforgiving cargo. 11,000 tons of manganese ore. This was not ordinary cargo. Manganese is heavier than iron, and its properties held a hidden danger. The crew loaded the black, dusty ore into the ship's massive holds, day after day. They were loading the very element that would seal their fate. The ship was loaded to its absolute limit, possibly even beyond it. An investigation later revealed one of the ship's engines was damaged and out of service. She was overloaded, underpowered, and sailing with a deeply divided crew. The stage was set for disaster. The journey began, leaving Rio de Janeiro for the long voyage home to Baltimore. But the ship would make an unscheduled and mysterious stop. On March 3rd, the Cyclops docked in Barbados, citing a need for supplies. Here, the last letters from the crew were sent home, letters filled with hope and fear. On March 4, 1918, the USS Cyclops weighed anchor for the final time. It was a clear, calm day. The ship was last seen sailing north towards home. It sent no signals. It gave no warnings. It simply sailed over the horizon and into the annals of myth and legend. The ship was scheduled to arrive in Baltimore on March 13th. But March 13th came and went. The Cyclops was nowhere to be seen. Days turned into a week. A week turned into two. The Navy's most reliable workhorse had vanished without a trace. No distress call had been received, not a single SOS. The silence from the Cyclops was absolute and deeply unnerving. One of the largest ships in the Navy had disappeared from the face of the Earth, and the greatest sea search in U.S. history was about to begin. The moment the Cyclops was declared missing, the U.S. Navy launched a massive search operation. Ships and planes scoured the entire route, from Barbados to Baltimore. They searched an area of hundreds of thousands of square miles, a vast, merciless ocean. Day after day, they scanned the waves for any sign of the lost ship. They were looking for wreckage, for an oil splick, for a single life raft. But the ocean offered nothing. Not a single clue was ever found. There was no debris, no bodies, not one piece of the Iron Giant. It was as if a 19,000-ton ship had simply ceased to exist. The complete lack of evidence was baffling. How could something so large vanish so completely? The families of the crew waited in agony, 
but hope soon turned to despair. Back in Washington, D.C., the mystery reached the highest levels of government. President Woodrow Wilson himself commented, saying, only God and the sea know what happened to the great ship. The official Navy report was unable to reach a conclusion. The disappearance of the USS Cyclops was officially declared a mystery, one that would endure for a century. In the absence of facts, speculation and fear began to grow. The First World War was still raging. The first and most logical suspect was the enemy. Had a German U-boat sent the Cyclops to a silent, watery grave? It was a plausible theory. A single torpedo could have sunk the ship quickly. But after the war, German naval records were examined. They held a shocking truth. There were no German submarines operating anywhere near the Cyclops' route. The enemy was innocent. The mystery only deepened. With the most logical theory debunked, darker, stranger ideas began to surface. All eyes turned to the ship's controversial captain, Captain George W. Worley. Rumors of his pro-German sympathies led to theories of treason. Did he intentionally hand the ship over to the enemy? Others pointed to the unhappy crew. Had there been a violent mutiny on board? A bloody takeover that ended with the ship lost to the sea. But like the U-boat theory, there was no evidence to support any of it. And so the world began to look for answers not in the world of men, but in the realm of the supernatural. This event, more than any other, gave birth to the legend of the Bermuda Triangle. People began to speak of a cursed patch of ocean, a place where the laws of physics failed where ships and planes were swallowed by strange forces. The Cyclops became the Triangle's poster child, its most famous and compelling victim. Theories grew wilder. Was it a giant squid, a kraken from the deep? Had the ship been pulled into another dimension through an underwater portal? Was this the work of extraterrestrials, abducting the ship and its crew for unknown reasons? The story became a staple of fiction and folklore, a ghost story told by sailors. For decades, these supernatural tales were the only answers that existed. But they were all wrong. They were all a distraction from the cold, hard facts. Because the truth of what happened to the Cyclops lies not in the supernatural, but in the ship itself. To find the truth, we must first silence the fiction. The legend of the Bermuda Triangle is just that, a legend. The area sees no more accidents than any other heavily trafficked part of the ocean. There are no mysterious forces, only the harsh and unforgiving realities of the sea. We must look at the disaster not as a paranormal event, but as a scientific puzzle. The clues to solving it have been available for over a century. The first clue, the ship's known mechanical problems. The cracked engine cylinder. This forced the Cyclops to travel at much slower speed, making it vulnerable for longer. The second clue, the captain. Worley was known for his stubbornness. Instead of sailing around a developing storm, it's believed he chose to sail directly through it. The third clue, and the most critical, the cargo. The 11,000 tons of manganese ore. The Cyclops was dangerously overloaded. Its plimsoll line, which marks the safe load limit, was likely underwater. An overloaded ship is unstable and handles poorly in heavy seas. But the fourth clue reveals the true killer, the nature of the ore itself. Fine, granular cargo like manganese holds a terrifying secret. Liquefaction. When enough water mixes with the ore, it can transform from a solid into a thick, unstable liquid slurry. Its weight can then shift suddenly and catastrophically all at once. Now let's reconstruct the final, terrifying moments of the USS Cyclops. The overloaded, underpowered ship steered by a stubborn captain, enters a violent storm. The ship is battered by massive waves, far larger than it can handle. A colossal wave, known today as a rogue wave, crashes over the deck. 
Its immense force damages the cargo hatches, allowing thousands of tons of seawater to pour into the holds. The water begins to mix with the dry manganese ore below. Deep inside the ship, a deadly chemical reaction is taking place. The solid cargo is turning to liquid mud. The ship rolls violently in the storm. The now liquid manganese slurry suddenly shifts to one side. The change in the center of gravity is instantaneous and catastrophic. The ship loses all stability. It rolls onto its side, a point of no return. This entire process would have taken less than a minute. There was no time to launch lifeboats, no time to send an SOS. The Cyclops would have capsized and plunged beneath the waves with terrifying speed. The immense weight of the ore would have pulled it straight to the bottom like a stone. This explains the complete lack of wreckage. The ship sank whole, and it sank fast. There was no sea monster, no alien abduction, no ghost story. The truth is a perfect storm of converging factors, a combination of mechanical failure, human error, extreme weather, and the unforgiving laws of physics. This scientific explanation is far more chilling than any fiction. The wreck of the USS Cyclops has never been found, its location still a mystery. But the mystery of how it disappeared is no longer a mystery at all. It is a cautionary tale of the dangers of the sea and the price of hubris. A memorial to the 306 men who were lost to the deep. Their final resting place is unknown, but their story, at last, can be told.